بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Stenting angulated aortic aneurysm neck before endovascular repair a case report by Dr. Muhammad Amr Farooq, consultant to vascular surgeon and Royal College Regional Examiner. I have no disclosure regarding this presentation. The first point how we measure aortic neck angulation and I think one of the best paper to answer this question is paper from Netherlands which is validation of a new standardization method to measure proximal aneurysm neck angulation. In this paper it mentioned that you need to measure the central luminal line or CLL by 3D aortic rendering and as you can see you have three axes you have an aortic axis a neck axis and you have the aneurysm axis so in these three axes you can measure two points which is the alpha angle and the beta angle the alpha angle is between the aortic axis and the neck axis and the beta angle between the neck axis and the aortic sac axis. Now come the second important. Does the angle change after you put a VAR stainless steel? And the answer is yes. And to confirm this answer, this is one of the best paper from Korea uh, regarding changes in suprarenal and the infrarenal aortic angle after endovascular repair. It mentioned that due to multiple factors, you get a change in the angulation of the neck after you put a VAR, which is very logical. So to answer the question, what happened if we put a stent in an angulated neck before we put the EVAR, and then we put the EVAR device? Will this help us to manage a severe angulated necks. Here is very nice demonstration what is the effect of a stent in an angulated neck. Very logical when you have a severe angulation like this one, then when you put a stent, it makes the angulation to become less. It is straighten the angulation neck. This is confirmed by multiple cases uh, before and after EVAR. So my idea was, what if we have put a stent before we use the EVAR? To the best of my knowledge, this was the first time to report a prophylactic self-expandable netinol stent in severe angulated neck for remodeling. There was a lot of paper about using Palmaz stent and AV3 balloon expandable stent, but this is after you deploy the EVAR device. This is a patient who is an 85-year-old gentleman presented with a 9-centimeter aortic aneurysm. And as you can see, he has double 90-degree angle between the aortic axis and the neck axis, is a 90-degree, and another 90-degree between the neck axis and the sac axis. And he was not fit to have an open surgical repair. And here is what happened to this gentleman. As you can see, this is the AP view of this 9 centimeter aneurysm after putting super stiff guide wire. And this is the angulation on the lateral view. It has very low ejection fraction, so you can see the blood when it is going into the artery in very slow motion. And this is the lateral view. Now, before we put the EVAR, we thought that putting self-expandable stent in this difficult aortic neck, we used Jo stent XL, and this is the stent being deployed in order to lower the angulation of the neck to make it much easier for the Edvar device to be deployed. Here is the XL stent by Jo stent, fully deployed exactly at the area of angulation between the neck axis and the sac axis and here is the introduction of the EVAR device inside the 
pre-deployed self-expandable stent in the aortic neck and this is the picture before the full deployment After one month follow-up, as you can see, this is the picture, uh, a patent endograft with a small amount of endoleak type 2 into the sac, and this was one month follow-up. Now comes the question, does angulated neck do badly? We all like to do cases inside eye view, and we don't like to go outside eye view. I was surprised to have um, to read this paper about midterm result of EVAR in severe proximal neck angulation, and the author did not find any statistical difference between severely angulated neck and the straight neck in the midterm result one to three years follow up after the bar, which I found extremely interesting. So my take home message from this case is we must standardize how we report our technique and I think our reporting or our technique angulation is inferior to the uh, international standard. In expert hand, angulated neck can give a similar midterm result to straight neck and Pre-deployment of self-expandable stent before EVAR seem to improve our result, although we have a very limited cases to report. And thank you very much for listening to this case and wish you all the best.